So you want to get those sweet, sweet parses in BWL. Well, you've come to the right place. Let's talk about Razor Gore the Untamed today. Razor Gore is a very fast fight that requires you as a DPS warrior to know when to use your DPS cooldowns based on the boss's health percentage in order to do maximum DPS. Especially as your guild begins to kill Razor Gore faster and faster each week, you're going to need to know when to use Death Wish, when to use your Diamond Flask, and other cooldowns of that nature to get maximum uptime to do the most damage. First, let's take a look at my Razor Gore kill, and then we'll talk through what I did to get a decent parse. Don't worry about this ad, we'll this one. I will thank you. So let's break down what I did there to, I could have done more damage than I actually did. Some couple things went wrong, but let's break down what you need to do in order to parse effectively on this fight. So first of all, there's three things that you need to do before you even enter the instance. A is know your rotation as a warrior. Um, I'm not going to go into your rotation here in this video. There's much better videos that I will link in the description that go into what to do, how to play your character, but you need to have a general understanding of what it is to do your rotation because if you want to parse with the best people, you can't be doing the wrong rotation. Second is to use full consumables. If you are not using your DPS consumables, if you're not using elemental crit stones, if you're not using fire water, juju, mongoose, everything. If, if you're not using them, it, it, you don't need them to kill the boss. But if you're going for a personal parse, you have to use full consumables because the top people are using them, who are the top parses, who are the people you're competing with. Third, you have to have full world buffs. Now, I'm talking the basics here. You need Dire Maul Tribute buffs, you need Ani buff, Neff buff, you need Songflower, this is the first fight of BWL, so most people on this fight who are going for parses have full buffs. No one's died yet, um, so in order to have a good parse on Razor Gore, you need to have full world buffs. And fourth, you need to know when to use your Diamond Flask, Death Wish, and Recklessness at the right times based upon how long the boss has left to live. Ideally, you want to get the maximum uptime of those cooldowns while also having all of them up for execute phase. So you can just rip some fat executes into Razor Gore. And just another quick thing too on knowing when to use your cooldowns. I'm going to make a separate video on how to actually look up your times to kill the bosses, but essentially you go into Warcraft logs. Why don't we just look at it now? It doesn't take that long. And this is seriously 30% of your DPS is, is doing this. What you do is, you go find your logs for your last, hopefully your guild's logging. If your guild's not logging, you're probably not, you can't parse because you can't even upload your stuff to Warcraft logs. So go to your last uploaded log, find Razor Gore, go, you'll, you'll see there's myself doing just great damage and go to replay. Now what replay is going to do is show you the fight length and then a basic summary of what happened. We don't really care too much about everything else that's going on. We care about the timing. So looking down here, looking down here at the bottom right here, it's going to see, we, we see this fight was 42 seconds long our last kill. That means immediately tells me that Diamond Flask lasts for 60 seconds. So I need to pop Diamond Flask as I'm going up to the boss and I will have full uptime on Diamond Flask from first attack all the way through execute phase. Very important that you do that and not forget or else you're really gimping yourself on DPS. Now, as we watch the fight unfold, I can go to right where there's about 30 seconds left in the fight. So 12 seconds out of 42 seconds. Now, 30 seconds left in the fight, Death Wish is a 30 second, um, lasts for 30 seconds and you're doing 20% more damage. Big, big, big dick DPS cooldown right there. You wanna have it up as long as you can and also for your full execute phase. So looking at the timing here, 
30 seconds left in the fight. Razor is at 95%. We're starting to kill him pretty darn fast. Not as fast as some of the super sweaty guilds out there, but pretty fast for my guild, especially where, how far we've come. So I need to pop Death Wish at 95%. And then thirdly, we need to look at when to use Recklessness. Now, I'll get into it when I go over the fight. We're not going to use Mighty Rage Potion on this fight because we're going to use a free action potion. So our potion will be on cooldown. But if we look for around, you know, right where 15 seconds are left here. So around 28, 27 seconds, 27 seconds into the fight. We're going to wreck at 47%. A lot of people think recklessness is you can only pop it during execute phase and you really just want to have it you want to have recklessness up during your execute phase but as you kill bosses faster and faster you're going to have additional time to have recklessness up it's a massive massive cooldown you're going to want to save recklessness for the fights that you want to parse on each week unless you're a guild that kills every single boss in 20 seconds that's how you do it what i like to do is i will this is pretty nerdy of me but whatever I will go through and um, it's kind of old school of me, but I will make a note card. I'll, I'll, let me pull this up here. So I will simply go through off of last week and look at the logs and I will find when I need to use the cooldowns based on the percentages showing the process that I showed you. So for Razor Gore right here, I need to Diamond Flask at 100, Death Wish at 96 and Wreck at 51%. Do that for every fight quick little reference card you can look at while you're um, going through raid it can be hard um, to, to just you're not going to remember for every single fight when to use all of your cooldowns so it's very important a little bit of homework you want to do but if you want to be the best you gotta put in a little work as warrior now let's, let's walk through the fight and um, I'll sort of talk over my thinking here and, and just kind of give you guys a play-by-play -play of, of what you need to do so the razor war fight um, as many of you all probably know, starts with a ad phase where someone needs to go around and destroy the eggs. There's lots of ads that come out and you need to kill those ads. The, while this is a fun phase, unfortunately, and I found this out the hard way, um, this, these do not count towards your parse um, on Razor Gore. Razor Gore, you, your, your parsable window on Razor Gore starts when the boss fight starts. All the damage you do against the ads beforehand does not matter. So let's take a look at my screen real fast. Now you'll notice that over here I have my trinkets. Diamond Flask and Hodge for this fight. Diamond Flask because um, Razor Gore is a very short fight. You're going to have 100% uptime. You just need to save Diamond Flask. Don't use it during the ad phase. Save it for Razor Gore. If you pop Diamond Flask for the ads, you will not have enough for Razor Gore and that will not be good for your parse. Now let's look over here at the buffs. Pretty much full buffs. Um, one thing I did do for this fight is I scuffed my um, Desert Dumplings, the new 20 strength food. I'm used to using the plus 10 strength food that has um, pretty much instantly applies the buff as soon as you sit down and eat. I try to do that with this food and the buff did not apply because you have to wait 15 seconds. So little things like that do add up. That's 20 strength. That's 40 attack power I didn't have during this fight. So as we'll see here, um, Razor Gore is about to come up. The fight's going to start um, very soon. We're killing the last of the adds here. We're 30 out of 30 of the eggs are destroyed. And now Razor Gore is going to become ready to go. Now, knowing that Razor Gore is going to come up very soon, a few things. One is that I have full rage. You're not trying to parse on the Death Talon Dragon Spawn. You don't need to rip a Bloodthirst into the Blackwing Legionnaire. You want to start this fight with 100 rage. So when you have at 29, 30 eggs still up, start pulling your rage. Make sure that you have 100 for when it's time to go live. Now, Razor Gore has a few different abilities that um, for, pretty much for a DPS warrior in all DPS, it's just tank and spank. But there are a couple mechanics that Razor Gore does have um, that you're going to need to be cognizant of. Uh, in, in, in order to get a good parse. Now, now the first is that there are tank swaps on this fight. He will drop aggro, he will con flag a tank, and then you will need to, and then you will need to, um, another tank will need to pick it up. So uh, as a Fury Warrior with full buffs, full consumables, doing a lot of damage, um, you need to be a little bit, keep your eyes on the aggro table and make sure that your tanks maybe know that you're going for a parse or they're used to having to deal with your aggro like my tanks are with me. Um, just so that you don't get killed. Razor Gore does, will not one-shot you. He actually doesn't do that much damage. Um, unless you were to get conflict or something and not healed. 
However, um, you know, if you pull aggro, you do get conflagged and you're out of commission for eight seconds. Say goodbye to your parse. So keep an eye on the aggro table. Try not to pull um, until you're really at 30, 20% on Razor Gore and then just go ham. So if you'll notice, Razor Gore also has another mechanic here and he's going to do an AoE stun. And if you get caught by this AoE stun, it's going to really take you out of commission for around six seconds. You'll see I get hit by it at the end of this fight. So what I did was I pre-popped a free action potion. I actually popped the free action potion way too early. You'll see, um, I kind of thought Razor Gore was going to start a bit sooner than he actually did. And um, I'm already, it's ticking away, 18 seconds. So now Razor Gore is coming out right here. So this is sort of the time, ideally, when you would pop your free action potion because um, you want to have full uptime on it. Now, what you'll see here is the tanks are over here. They're ready, they're marked, they're ready to pick up Razor Gore and I'm going to give them a few seconds and then start to flex on Razor Gore. Now, a couple things, knowing going off of previous kill times for this boss, um, for this week, I needed to Diamond Flask at 100%. So, as I run over to attack Razor Gore, I am going to pop Diamond Flask. You see it up here, I charge in, I immediately, I see, I wait, if, see, reviewing this footage, I popped on flash pretty early, but I should have done it at 100%. You forget these things in the course of the fight because there's so much going on, especially um, in a fight like this where there's ads going everywhere, you got full buffs, you're whipping crazy damage everywhere. A lot of parsing, a, a lot of parsing more effectively as a Fury Warrior is really like containing your energy and releasing it in an effective way and not just all over the place. So you have to remember when to pop your cooldown. So, I pop Diamond Flask pretty much immediately, and we get going here. Um, keep the rotation up. You have so much rage with full buffs that you're going to really be able to heroic strike on almost every single attack. Um, Bloodthirst, Whirlwind on cooldown. Um, you'll see here that he hits 83%, and I Death Wish. This was actually a big scuff by me because I was supposed to do it at 96%. Another thing that I personally just messed up here that I will fix next week. Um, but, uh, so now we have Diamond Flask and Death Wish up. We're swinging away, doing some real good damage here. And you'll notice up here that because I popped my fat too early, it's gone. So the next AoE stun he does, I'm going to be hit by it. Big no-no, guys. Um, make sure that you're waiting to pop uh, your free action potion right before the boss don't do it early like i did so now we've got diamond flask death wish up um we're doing really good damage as we see over here and he's about to hit 42 percent right around 43 percent i use recklessness it's because off of the previous kill times we know that um we're going to have that much uptime left on it so if we look at sort of my screen here i've got full rage i've got Diamond Flask, which still is 41 seconds up. I've still got 17 seconds on Death Wish, and I've still got full cooldown on Recklessness. It's, when you are like this as a Fury Warrior, it's time to go ham. So as you'll see, I, I start to do that. You really just start ripping really nice numbers into Razor Gore like it's ridiculous, and then I get cocked. Free action potion, free action potion fell off. I didn't have it up. He turns around, I have pulled aggro, I get uh, AoE stunned because I don't have my free action potion. So that's really going to hurt my parse because this is prime. When, 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 if you'll see my boss percentage over there, it's 12%. I'm in execute phase. Um, he's got 53k health left. I've got recklessness, I've got death wish, I've got diamond flask up, 50 rage. This is time I could be doing 4k, 3k, 5k executes on cooldown. And I'm not, I am stunned. So, you'll see, I'm stunned. I've also got aggro. He's chunking me away. I'm getting healed. Shout out to my healers. I get, I, 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 re, I, I regain sort of consciousness there and immediately rip a 4k execute into him. But that was, um, you know, a, a little bit of time to where I was not able to execute. And, and that's really the fight. Um, if we go ahead and look at how I did for that fight. So, I did 833 DPS on this fight, which is really good. And if we look at my ranking there, I got a 94 
part. That could have been a 97, 98 parse had I had full duration on my free action pot, used Death Wish a bit earlier, and um, not gotten the AoE stun at the end. That would have been a much higher parse. But you live and you learn. You um, next week we'll go ahead and we'll get that orange. I'm going for all orange parses. Is, is really what I'm looking to do. So guys, um, that's really it on Razor. Um, it's not a incredibly difficult fight by any means. It's just simply a very fast fight where a lot of stuff happens all at once and you need to know what you're going to do before you do it in order to execute effectively. So more guys to come uh, for each boss in PWL to help you get orange parses across the board. Um, thanks for tuning in. More content to come. Thanks guys.